Ho ho ho! Hello world and welcome back to another video from Superhero Review. This is Santa and with me as always is... Natty, I already have some fun with Superhero Review. Ho ho ho! That's a ho! Hey! Hey! That was Santa but this is Daniel. And so we are back again, and as you can see from everything around us, from Santa and Maddie's little Christmas tree that she has here, it is Christmas time. It is actually December the 1st. And so we have a big surprise for you at the end of the video. So we want you to hang around till the end, and then Maddie's gonna have something special for all of you at the end of our video. But the first thing that we wanna talk about is everything that's going on for the month of December. There's some really cool stuff going on right now. So last night we were able to do the mission for uh, the throne of Atlantis. And so that was a really good, uh, uh, really good one that we did there. And so we were able to go through and defeat Ocean Master over there. And so we'll show you what team we utilized and we were able to three star it. Uh, we had none of which uh, were at a level 70, uh, but we did have uh, quite a few strong characters, admittedly. Uh, so this was the team that we utilized last night to, to get the three stars against Ocean Master. Uh, so as you can see, each one, uh, he was at a level 61 and gear 10 for Green Arrow uh, Emerald Archer. He is a four star, so that helped out quite a bit. Uh, same thing for uh, Green Arrow Castaway. He's also at a level 64 and four stars. And uh, all of these are going to be four stars, but none of them are any higher. She's the highest one at a level 65 uh, is Siren. And then you've got Cheetah over here who's at a level 61 as well. So uh, you can beat it. Uh, and the way we were able to, to beat it was by uh, utilizing uh, the bleeds that Siren and Cheetah were able to put on uh, the entire team. So, what I wanted to talk about was some really cool stuff coming up. I don't know if you noticed at the very beginning of the video, uh, you probably saw back there, uh, whenever I was showing you the poster, that they now have, if I can get to him here, they, uh, it, for the month of uh, December, it is a Aquaman month, which is really cool because I'm really looking forward to the Aquaman movie that's coming out. And one of the characters, one of his big bads in there is going to be Black Manta. And that is the character that you see right over here. So we are going to need your help uh, to be able to uh, get all the Black Manta shards that are out there because they're going to have an event. If you look inside the PVP center here in the arena, uh, you'll see that right over here, you've got a, a full, we're about a day and a half, about a day away from the opening up of the Siege of the Seven Seas. And so uh, our team the, uh, the alliance that we are in, the Superhero Alliance, Superhero Review Alliance, needs some more members. And so we're looking for you to come join our alliance. So if you are close to a level 80 and, uh, and you're an active member, uh, like, uh, like a lot of the alliance members that we have, uh, I'm very proud of our, of our alliance that we have. But right now, we actually have some openings. As you can see, we've got seven openings for our alliance. So all I want you to do is in the comment section down below, say, I want to be a part of Superhero Review Alliance. And so what you do is you go and you search Superhero Review Alliance, and then in the Alliance section when you're doing your search, you submit yourself for Superhero Review Alliance, leave a comment in the section down below with your username, ours is Superman2598, as you can see right up there, right up there. And so let us know what your username is, and let us know that you'd like to be part of our alliance and that you will contribute to, uh, to our alliance. And so right now we are looking for seven brand new members to be a part of Superhero Review Alliance. Can that be you? Can you contribute to our alliance? Can you be one of our new valued members of the Superhero uh, Review crew? So hopefully you'll be a part of it as well, and we'll be seeing you soon on our next Superhero Review, uh, uh, on, in our Superhero Review Alliance. So one of the things I wanted to take a look at today, uh, after we've already shown you Christmas, and Maddie's shown you her Christmas tree that she keeps in her room by herself, uh, and we showed you Santa. We had a guest starring appearance by Santa. I wanted to go through and talk about some of the main characters out there. If you're decided that you wanted to uh, upgrade to level 80, 
uh, then to do that, uh, there's going to be, it, it takes a long time to get to a level 80 on some of these superheroes or some of the, the heroes that we have here. Uh, and so you've got to pick and choose which heroes do you really want to have at a level 80. Uh, or excuse me, I keep saying 80, sorry, a level 70, which unlocks gear 11. Uh, we are obviously at a level 80, but I haven't taken any of these characters up to level 80 yet. I've been stopping at 70 on each one. And so for me personally, there are some that uh, are must-haves at a level 70. Uh, and at the top of that list is right here, Etrigan the Demon. Etrigan is, uh, more than any other character, in my opinion, is the top character currently in DC Legends. And so if you're going to, if you've made a decision that you're going to do level 70 on some characters, the number one character that you should take the time to farm and that you should take the time to uh, get shards of whenever they're available is Etrigan. And Etrigan, as you can see, right, there, right about there, as you can see right over there, Etrigan is one of the most powerful characters in the entire game. Uh, matter of fact, in my opinion, he is the most powerful character. And so some of the other characters that we've decided to upgrade all the way to level 70 is, as you can see, Etrigan is one of those characters. The next one is Wonder Girl. We took her up to a level 70 as well and got all of the fragments that we can for her. We now have her maxed out. The next one that's coming up is Power Girl. That's, a, that's the next one that we did all the way up to level 70. Swamp Thing is another one that we decided is, is important enough to take to level 70. To be honest with you, I took Superman to level 70 because for some reason I kind of like him a little bit. And so that was just my personal opinion on that. I decided to take him to level 70. He's okay, uh, but uh, there's definitely other ones that I would prioritize above him because the list that I'm giving you right now are the, the list of the, sev of the ones that should go to level 70 that are going to be good on any team. Uh, Superman has his place every once in a while, uh, but uh, he's not one of the top ones in my opinion. He's probably that next lower tier. Uh, the next one is Bane. Uh, Bane right now has the ability to uh, to ramp himself up. Uh, once he gets that overhill going, he can be a very tough character to stop. And uh, Harley Quinn, the Mad Jester, of course, Maddie's favorite. We took her, her all the way to level 70. But unlike Superman, who's my favorite and probably shouldn't be one of those you prioritize, Harley Quinn, who's Maddie's favorite, is one that you want to prioritize and take all the way to level 70. Because Harley Quinn is the best. Harley Quinn is the best. Harley Quinn is one of the best characters in the game, without question. Uh, the last one that I'm going to show you that is in my priority list is Deadshot Hired Gun. Get as many fragments as you can for him as well. Uh, and then whenever you uh, are, are prioritizing those, those characters that go to level 70, Hired Gun Deadshot in the current way that uh, in, in December of 27, 2018, uh, it's important right now for him to be one of those that you prioritize getting all the way to level 70. Uh, before, uh, I actually one of the very first characters that we took all the way to level 70 was Wonder Woman uh, Defender of Justice, or DOJ. Uh, and uh, now I probably wouldn't prioritize her as high as I did in the beginning, uh, but originally I had her as my... Uh, um, as my Harley Quinn Mad Jester defense, uh, because she can take her out uh, with the lasso that she has and take away all of her all of her buffs that she has. Uh, but that right now, those are and of course, <laughs> yeah, I have uh, Deathstroke a long time ago that we took all the way to level seventy. Uh, actually, took him all the way to level seventy-five. It was going to take him all the way to eighty until he got nerfed and is now pretty much a, a worthless character. Um, so Stephen Wolf is the next one that we took all the way to level 70 because of, um, uh, because of, what is her name? Batgirl. And, uh, Batgirl and all of the, uh, evasion ups that she gives to her team, that made Steppenwolf a very important character to take all the way to level 70 for me personally. Uh, so those are the ones that we have right now at our level 70. Who's the next ones that we're prioritizing to take to level 70? Well, for me, the next ones that I'm looking at is going to be Red Robin. Uh, Red Robin is one of those that can uh, throw around the, um, uh, he can throw around True Sight to other characters. And uh, the way that he can debuff the other team really helps out as well. Uh, so right now, that's the list. If I had to go by Affinity, and I'm starting out with uh, the Red Affinity here, uh, those three would be the three that I would prioritize. Uh, starting with... Hired Gun Deadshot would be number one. 
For me, Mad Jester Harley Quinn would be number two, and Bane would be number three. Looking over at our blues here, uh, for me, the most important character in the entire game to upgrade first all the way to level 70 would be Etrigan. Number two would be uh, Wonder Girl, and number three would be, uh, would be Swamp Thing. Uh, and as you can see, we actually took four, uh, but in my opinion right now, if I, if I were to take a fourth one, it would probably be, uh, sorry about that, it would be Donna Troy, uh, which I'm trying to get over to real quick. Can't do that very fast. There we go. Uh, I would definitely take Donna Troy. Uh, she has a place in the current meta. Uh, I haven't been able to take enough time. You can see we're still at ones and twos up there on her upgrades and still haven't taken her past uh, a level 40. Because what we like to do is we take one character at a time and upgrade them all the way to level 70. And currently, we're working on uh, Red Robin, like we mentioned. And so the last ones here are the greens. And the, the three that we chose, number one for everyone, should be Power Girl. Uh, and in my personal opinion, I went number two, I, I took Steppenwolf, and then uh, for me personally, I like Superman, and so we took him number three. Uh, if I were to look a, a second time through here, uh, I really do like uh, what they've done with Brainiac and with uh, Zod. I think Zod could be a very powerful uh, third one to go after to upgrade. Uh, I really like uh, seeing... Uh, Batman Beyond, he's a very strong character uh, in those evasion teams where it, he, he makes it to where the other team can't hit you as often. Uh, so that, that's a really good one as well. Uh, but in my opinion, for the current uh, wave that we have, those are the characters that we would recommend you upgrading up to level 70 right now. So we decided to go through that, do those right now. And uh, I think it's about time for us to end this portion and go into the surprise that we have for you at the end of the video. So congratulations for staying all the way to the end of the video because now it's time for your surprise and we'll be right back. Um. All right, guys, we are back and here is Maddie with your surprise for the month of December. These are Marvel Zoom Stones and we are going to come to you guys every day of the month of December and these are really fun to open up. So I'm going to take you guys with us to open up the... The... The Zoom Zooms? The Zoom Zooms. Awesome. Let's take a look at them, Maddie. Open it up. Cool. So it's an advent calendar. Yes. And we'll be able to do some superhero stuff on Superhero Review with an advent calendar just for them. A Marvel one at that. All right, so Maddie, you got to find number one and you got to open it up for us. There's the first one. It looks like. That's Nick Fury. Woohoo! The Agent of S.H.I.E.L.D. How cool is that, huh, Maddie? That's cool. I like it. I like it. All right, Maddie, so we're going to be giving them that. Here. How about you hold this? <laughs> you hold the camera, and I'll open it up for everybody to see. All right. There you go, Maddie. There is Nick Fury. He has an eye patch, and he has a pocket right here, and he's really cool. He is really cool. I like that. All right, Maddie, so we're, that means we're going to be coming to them every day in the month of December and opening up a brand new advent calendar part just for them all the way through the month of December. Doesn't that sound cool? Yeah. All right, guys. Well, you know what that means. That means it is time for us to end our video. And so, Maddie, is there anything you want to say to the people at home before we go? Bye, world, and thanks for watching. God bless you, and have a great night. And don't forget to stay tuned for tomorrow. That's right. You heard her.